All right, so let's talk about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Shredder's Revenge. This game just came out on June 16th, 2022. I want to thank Daredrop for the key. I went ahead and beat the story mode, and now they're going to provide us with a Windjammer key, which we can give in, in a giveaway in a future stream. Anyways, this game was developed by Tribute Games and published by Deo Temu and Gamera Games. Some of the same people who made Streets of Rage 4, which I really love, and it shows here. So what is this game? Is it worth their time and money, etc.? So, this game is released on a good amount of platforms. I think everything, almost like all of the modern ones. Right now, it's, uh, it's for $24.99 US. And according to the Steam page here, single player, online co-op, shared split screen co-op, Steam achievements, full control support. I played the whole game with this Xbox One controller. was pretty good. Steam trading card, Steam Cloud, remote play together. I think it's even on the Epic Game Store. So, this game is pretty much the spiritual successor slash sequel to uh, Team NT4 Turtles in Time on the Super Nintendo, which is one of my most favorite Team NT Super Nintendo games of all times. I don't know how many times I completed that game. Really, really good. This game is a complete love letter to it. Pretty much everything you know about the first game. You know, all the little quips, all the little memes, you know, Big Apple, 3 a.m., a lot of the um, characters, etc. Everything is in here. So, all the characters that you've seen in the other game show up here in some capacity, which is very, very cool. This game has two different modes, story mode and arcade mode. We'll go ahead and talk about both of them separately quickly. Um, I guess I'll do the arcade mode really quick. It's basically the old school experience. You have to play all the levels straight away with how many lives you start with depending on, you know, if you play easy, normal or hard, you're just going to go stage by stage, go through like uh levels that take around four to around eight minutes and you can play single player uh, two players all the way up to six players at the moment of this review there's seven characters there's one you have to unlock which is casey jones but all you have to do is beat the game once which we already did so that's arcade mode go as far as you can etc now story mode it's it's very similar to arcade mode where you're going to be going to the stages in order however you can replay the stages in order to get experience in this game there's a sort of uh, a leveling up system it's not like insanely complicated where you're going to be like putting skill points into things you basically just unlock oh you you know you killed 100 bad guys you get 100 points you get more hp you get one more life huge uh, to use and then you unlock new special abilities which would already be unlocked during the arcade mode so the first couple of levels in story mode you're just using all the basic stuff your whole move sets instead of all the super specials but let's talk about how every character plays uh basically Everyone has the same move set, but they have unique properties per unique move set. Now, everyone has a basic regular attack and then three sort of quick specials that use the ninja bar. You get the ninja bar by attacking enemies and using a taunt, which takes like two to three seconds to activate. And it's pretty funny depending on the character you use. And then you get a ninja bar and they can use a special. There is basically a, uh, stationary, a stationary one where you hit everyone around you. Um, there's one where you... And jump in the air and do a nice attack a really isolated attack on somebody and then you have a sort of somewhat screen clearing one everyone has those same things but they kind of act a little differently everyone has a double jump and when you do a double jump into attack you kind of swipe with your weapon however for example of uniqueness if you play with leonardo he actually does a crazy sort of spin that does multiple attacks same thing with you know all the other characters if you run and you do a dodge into an attack you basically do a slide for michelangelo it's a multi-hit etc you know uh, Raphael kid has better throws and all that good stuff so that's basically it um it plays very similar to the super nintendo one however the you know the developers here who have worked on the streets of rage games that went on to this one did a really really good job here making this feel much more alive more animated much more it just has really good flow it's not complicated as Streets of Rage, where that that game's really good. Like, all the characters, you can do lots of crazy combos. You have to do a lot of command normals into specials, etc. And manage your... You have to manage your HP during your super attacks and get in all that, etc. This game, it's, it's more simple, but it's still enough here that you can have fun and not just button mash. Though you can. Uh, the game does a good job letting you know 
hey, there's lots of different sorts of enemies where you want to try different moves. If someone shoots guns at you, you can slide under them and attack. If someone has a static a hitbox around them, you have to jump and attack them, etc. Wave clearing, throwing enemies back and forth, um, throwing things in pits. You have environmental hazards. You can blow up barrels, um, you know, spikes on the ground. You can pick up HP, which is pizza. And in this one, they have uh, a new sort of power-up. In the other one, there was uh, pizza, and then there was the one where it gives you, like, uh, temporary invincibility to attack around you for like a couple of seconds and then they added a new one here which gives you infinite ninja power for a while so you can spam and spam your special moves so that's pretty much the story mode you can replay the levels over and over to get experience and you can only do it for one character and then once you beat it you get their ending and then you can play with other characters you have to play them all to pretty much unlock all the achievements there's a good amount here um it's the the list is available to you at all times you know maybe you want to get like a 300 combo you want to play with other players and revive them speaking with playing with other players as i mentioned six player co-op here that's insane i've only played on my own and it was really fun i'm not sure if it's going to scale like if you have three characters are there going to be more enemies or maybe bullet sponge them etc but um, if you are playing with others, there's a couple of more interactions you can do. There's extra buttons where you guys can taunt together. You can um, you can revive another player, and you guys can heal each other. So there's that. And other than that, uh, the game is just like I mentioned at the beginning. It's a love letter to not just the TMNT Turtles in Time game, but just the Turtles sort of cartoon lore in general. There's a lot of characters like Irma and Vernon that show up here. And a lot of the later ones, like the Pizza Monster, which I think he showed up in maybe one episode of the cartoon, that show up here as a bad guy. So, during story mode, you can find them in the stages, and then you kind of unlock a quest for them. Maybe Irma wants her secret diaries back, and those Space Brigade guys want crystals. You find them, and then you go back to them on the world map. And they did a very good job on the world map. It looks very, you know, uh, Super Nintendo-y where you're just moving to different levels and then clicking on it to go into the stages. But yeah, once you do their uh, quest, you get more points and that's just the experience points. Optional, every stage has challenges. These things, there's about three challenges and it lets you know how many collectibles are in each stage. So you can always know, hey, I want to go here to finish, you know, all these different quests. So the challenges are mentioned optional and they're there just for fun and but also for achievements it ranges from attacking enemies with power attacks not getting hit by traps all the way to really difficult ones where it's like you know play the whole stage without using supers play the whole stage without taking damage so even hardcore ones like that i tried doing a lot of them as much as i could but towards the end of the game i was just like i just want to fight and just i just want to get through it so uh, the challenges are there for you to recomplete if you want after you beat each story for each character you get like a small different sort of cutscene. it's nothing too fancy it's just for completion rating so um this game it's pretty good for the price however it's just the two modes the story mode which is around two and a half hours long two to two to two and a half hours really if you don't replay that many stages I, I replayed a stage maybe once or twice just to try to do the completion thing but i after that i was like i don't want to do these i mean you don't really get much because the max level you get during story mode is level 10 and then Basically, once you hit level 10, you are ba you are as strong as you are in the arcade mode. You know, you have full HP, you have access to more of your ninja bars, etc. So, story mode, uh, you go all the way, you fight, I don't want to spoil it, but you know, you fight Shredder, it's called Shredder's Revenge. And once again, so many nods to the Super Nintendo, lots of different bosses, everyone shows up again, lots of different moves. It, But it is a beat-em-up, so you want to go in knowing, it's like Shoot Your Rage, it's like TMNT Turtles in Time, it's very much like those. You have enemies in different sorts of planes, you want to learn all of their different patterns, there's a bunch of foot soldiers with different colors that you learn maybe, you know, certain ones counter your different moves, so you have to be very careful, etc. So, and like, just like Shoot Your Rage, when you get to like the couple of last levels, they throw every single enemy type at you, and you have to remember how they behave and then work towards it but yeah the game is very smooth you can combo a lot of moves together they're different characters however they all play the same with very unique properties for certain attacks and that's pretty much it there is a leaderboard i wish there was some more stuff here like maybe a time attack mode um, a boss rush mode would be pretty cool and maybe even a versus one for fun because you know that would even 
and give you more of a nod to the old game. Even though it was much more primitive of the Super Nintendo, basic moves, they still had the, uh, you know, two out of three rounds fighting in the sewers with Splitter watching you in the background. I do remember fighting my friends during that. That was pretty fun. So maybe they're going to be adding more DLC in the future. If so, I would be very interested to see what they come up with. Like I mentioned, those couple modes that I wanted might be good to put in there. Maybe some more characters, uh, more DLC levels. But other than that, I think this game was a hit. There's so much love put into it. Oh, I forgot to talk about the music. They have the TMNT music, of course, from the show. It is a small little remix rendition of it. And then they have a bunch of unique and original sounds and soundtracks. There's even one by Ghost Killer from the Wu-Tang with, like, lyrics and such. So it kind of feels like, you know, it's like... It turtles with attitude, you know, that kind of deal. It's nice. It's cool. So environments are great. The graphics are great. I, I, this, this game is just good. It's really, really good. I'm glad it released and it was not a disappointment at all. The only thing is more content is needed because after playing for about three hours or so, I'm, you know, the only thing left to do is just beat story with every single character. And once again, they play very similar. So it's not that crazy to do so. But, you know, I had fun with it. I support these guys all the way and uh hope hopefully they add more stuff and it does well so that's it if you guys enjoyed leave a like it helps a lot if you have any sub for daily videos if you want to see the full the full playthrough and the footage i'm uploading it all on the mobby versus games vod channel and come by twitch where all this is being streamed i'm even live streaming this review live as we speak link down in the description if you have any more questions about teenage mutant ninja turtles shredder's revenge let me know down in the comments and i'll try to answer you thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time Bye.